Uh, welcome back to the uh, channel everybody all right so I did uh, a few videos uh, on Holden nuclear reactor and the iodine 131 that was being splurged around um, and the ultimate findings were that maybe I it, it was responsible for some of it but there was other possible sources and all the rest of it but uh, there was definitely a fuel accident in the reactor hall uh, fuel rods that were outside of the reactor had uh, melted down thorium uh, rods fuel rods and um, of course this is about two years ago I was doing this year and a half ago uh, right anyway so the on the 28th of June uh, World Nuclear News reported that the Holden reactor is to be decommissioned and there's been various reports uh, done on this uh, issue now of course that was a main research uh, uh, reactor for the OECD uh, there were 19 countries involved um, so basically and including Russia and uh, various other countries the uh, USA and uh, what have you uh, and now this uh, this was uh, basically to look at fuel rod technologies you know, how to make uh, make them last longer or whatever or safer or, or whatever so uh, basically they've decided to close it down because it wasn't financially viable the the people that were owning it couldn't afford anything you know to do something if there was a major accident and uh, and there was a lot of problems it was very old and as Bologna had reported Bologna.org had reported in earlier um, reports you know a few years ago uh, quite a few years ago uh, that there was certain types of uh, corruption uh, or possible corruption or alleged corruption um, and I do believe that some people were pu pulled up for it so there was some uh, some dodgy stuff going on okay so this is an update on the channel just to say look Holden reactor reactor is to be decommissioned it is no longer running because it has a problem uh, probably related to the problem that we were discussing a year and a half ago um, and then basically what we're talking about uh, and, and also the actual age of it um, so basically we're talking about it's being taken down and there's a new reactor in France uh, we'll come to that in a second uh, and that will be basically uh, ready by 2024 so there's a bit of a gap in the uh, in, in the research so there's no research being done on fuel rods in theory uh, for the next five years um, but uh, the US has asked you know has sort of mentioned that it would be involved in it um, but the problem there is obviously with all the sanctions things that's going on it's uh, left Europe very nervy about going into a business deal with the Americans and obviously they would be charged through the nose so Holden the IFE the people that run Holden they hope to continue doing radioactive uh, testing and technologies um, and what they're going to do is they're going to in theory send it to uh, the US uh, so they'll fly all their rods or whatever out to the US then they'll come back and they can get checked or however it's going to work um, but uh, I was looking at the uh, latest report and it seems that uh, probably because of the sanctions um, and that kind of thing that's going on that the French have decided that uh, you know they, they're, they're going to get most of the work that Holden did now um, okay so what we're going to do then is uh, so that's the, that's the evidence for that, that was the 28th of June um, I've left it go a little while because there's obviously lots of information coming in um, right so they've got uh, here we've got P oh, God, truth. Hang on a minute. We've got a PDF here, which is uh, post Holden reactor radiation testing for ATF preliminary assessment and re recommendations. Uh, this is the, and it's by the US. So they're they're kind of sort of saying, well, can we get some? What can we do here? You know, how can we get this business? Um, so they're doing that, and obviously the US are involved with this testing. So they're they're, they're uh, nuclear. Uh, programs, research and development programs are very much depended on Holden. Um, so maybe they're trying to do uh, some of the work Holden was doing themselves. Um, not sure how that's working out, but there is a report here. I'm not going to go into it at the moment. Um, we'll, we'll wait to see how things firm out. Uh, now, the Jules Horowitz reactor in southern France is the Kadaresh uh, in southern France. Uh, it isn't built yet. Um, now it says it's supposed to be in 2021 well I've seen 2024 originally it was supposed to be 2018 it was supposed to be ready no, sorry no 2020 then it was 2021 20, I know actually the original report was 2018 uh, then it was 2020 then it was 21 and the latest one I've seen is 2024 
so uh, <coughs> anyway so uh, that's interesting in terms of you know the material test reactor MTR um, so uh, let's see this is the Jules Horowitz research reactor uh, 9th of March 2016 is the last thing there um, and they were just saying it will also ensure the product will go up nuclear medicine and non-nuclear industry so uh, yeah so I mean basically they haven't updated anything from the 9th of March 2016 okay uh, we will go to news just in case they've uh, all the news uh, let me see uh, let's try the news of the CEA 30th of August uh, uh, CO2 measles yeah anyway so the bottom line there is that's the latest on the nuclear I could find now I went to the UK now brexit so obviously we've got brexit situation occurring um, if we do a hard brexit we're out of your atom uh, there was some talk that they'd done some sort of nuclear deal anyway uh, but obviously if, if brexit falls then in theory we don't get anything you know well, the UK basically ends up uh, uh, an island uh, onto itself and um, I was looking at the uh, this report here um, because obviously the UK um, basically uh, it it also works with the French Jules Horowitz reactor so they were doing a lot of stuff with uh, with that in terms of their research and development um, but uh, it looks like there's a problem so if we look at the government department in waste management fusion academia current nuclear and future nuclear uh, we can see there the government departments that were involved okay, so it's DEC and BIS and I think DEC and BIS are now combined so um, right who advises and steers NDA research board uh, for waste management fusion advisory board for fusion which is a waste of time uh, research council advisory network uh, for academia uh, the ONR office, office for nuclear regulation uh, which um, yeah that's the current nuclear they're the ones that are in charge of what's going on with that uh, interesting enough for the future nuclear there's a big question mark there you see it big question mark and a big question mark uh, who, for who advises and steers and who oversees delivery so uh, yeah this that's just a little interesting thing I pointed out but uh, just to show you uh, th this is the uh, uh, pictures of the Jules Horowitz from 2013 and the whole this report is from 2013 um, so basically we're looking at that and I just wanted to show you the headlines of this report slow loading sorry about that here we go Jules Horowitz, re re uh, Horowitz reactor and its role in UK nuclear and of course this is pre-Brexit 2014 yeah pre-Brexit and uh, yeah, so there's uh, this. This is some of the. Uh, obviously, there's funding from Europe as well. The Horizon 2020 fund that the UK will also not be able to tap, and that was used by the UK for a lot of their research and developments, which were connected with Europe. So anyway, so all of you who wanted to uh, go back into uh, sort of organic farming and uh, using uh, candles by night and all the rest of it, uh, you know, <laughs> you've got your wish. <laughs> and uh, maybe one day the English uh, government will actually start promoting solar and wind power and uh, dig the UK out of its hole but at the moment they're just relying on nuclear and fossil fuel uh, uh, electricity forms of electricity so anyway that's I'm gonna call it a stop here because we've done 10 minutes um, it's an update on on this um, it's so cool that we're seeing uh, uh, sort of you know the dodgy nuclear reactors being challenged uh, now I will say uh, if I remember correctly there is um, let me just give me a second I'm just gonna quickly switch down no I'm not gonna find it in time I don't think uh, okay there was uh, yeah okay well we'll leave it at that I think because uh, we'll keep it short um, I will be uh, doing a few more videos on this channel um, just to keep things updated a bit. Um, there's some other little projects I'm involved with. I uh, can't really talk about them at the moment, but they'll be coming along the uh, line as well. And um, yeah, so I hope you had all good, had a good summer. Uh, let's get into the winter now and uh, you know sort of get some information out while we still can. 
um, and uh, yeah, let people know what's going on in the uh, science and uh, uh, sort of the science field basically is there's a lot of corp corporate capture going on at the moment the BBC is involved the science media center is involved so-called charity funded by corporations um, they're all trying to do perception management you know there's a lot of uh, uh, corporations getting into our schools you know teaching four-year-olds about uh, uh, military hardware uh, about nuclear energy um, get them young uh, Hitler said that uh, get them young and uh, the uh, Hitler Youth was born. Uh, and just in case you think, you know, what's that got to do with anything? Well, there was a study done on uh, people that were in the Hitler Youth uh, about, far, about within the last five years, and it said that the, the people that were brought up in the Hitler Youth that were brainwashed into that way of thinking um, still really have the same prejudices and uh, and uh, the takeaways that they got from their uh, experience in the Hitler Youth um, and they were with them today at the age of 70 or whatever it is so uh, yeah get them young um, and I think we should be protecting our school children we should be uh, bringing them up to be critical thinkers uh, pr before we start teaching them uh, or allowing industry to come into the schools to teach. So that's just my last point. So we've got Brexit covered, we've got Euratom issues covered, so that's those two. We've got the uh, research and development for nuclear covered, uh, so we've talked about that and uh, there's some issues there, big issues with fuel rods uh, sort of technology and what have you, uh, and has been for a couple of years. You know, it's going to be about seven or eight years where they're not doing the sort of uh, work that the 19 countries were doing in Holden um, and uh, yeah so uh, we've we've got uh, you know that was seven years to build a new uh, medical you know a new research reactor in Norway but uh, but they didn't want to do that so they farmed that out to France uh, some of it may be going to America but according to the uh, uh, latest report I, I got it was basically that uh, it seems that France is going to get it and it will be 2024 before it gets there all right anyway take care um, I hope that all uh, clarifies things up and squares the squares the circle and uh, I'll uh, 